three ladies, don't call them witches, flame skulls, and gifts from the dark gods. Sounds a lot like last week. As we resume, as we continue on Dark Queen Ascension, Adventures in Barovia, Amber Temple, our third session. Stay tuned. So here we go. Uh, Vilnius. Vilnius has led our party down to the lower levels of the Amber Temple. And as they go through the auditorium, they get hit by lightning and then three or four of them take some damage. And they go through this hall with, with the highly reflective walls and all their own reflections saying, go, go, don't come. And, but yet they persist for it and they round the corner. And as they round the corner, uh, there is a three ladies, three ladies in front of a door trying to open this this door that has an arcane lock on it. And you hear them, you hear them saying uh, magic words like uh, open says me or open says me or a la peanut butter sandwiches. And they're trying to get in this door. And uh, so the group kind of backs off. Rinka in particular says, whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't want just to run into there, especially some of them just took a major amount of damage. I know Irina for for one was all the way down to one hit point. And as they round the corner, but Vilnius really wants to get up there as they talk about this. And so they talk it over and they, they decide that uh, Ruckus is their face, man. That's their high charisma guy. And they press forward and they Ruckus decides to uh, encounter these these three ladies that they're convinced are witches. I don't know why. They just have brooms there by them. So if we jump over to our Google screen here and we see here here we are in Foundry again. And this is kind of where we start our night. A ruckus approaches these girl these three women and says, hey, can I help you? And at first they say, no, no, go away, go away. As they send a broom to shoo them away and, and ruckus puts his his uh mage hand and starts mage hand starts to wrestle with the room. But uh, Nala eventually says, oh, wait a second, maybe he can help. And, and Kareem finally says, oh, fine. They say, uh, can you help us? And Ruckus comes up and says, oh, yeah, I can help you. Uh, and uh, he casts Knock on the door. And the girls are like, oh, wow, you're so powerful and so cool. But as they do, the room is revealed to have the, the flame skulls in it. And as soon as they open the door... Uh, the three of them get hit by a fireball, which takes out Corrine here, I believe it was. But her sisters rush up to her and give her a healing potion. And about then is when the rest of them move forward to take up uh, offensive positions. As, as the battle ensues, the three women turn into mice. And scurry away. And the the rest of the team gets in defensive positions. I believe Irina was somewhere like this. And, and I believe uh, Olak was also up here somewhere. And, uh, oh, but before that happened, before that happened, uh, Olak closed the door again so he wouldn't get hit by another fireball. And then everyone moved into positions to, into attack mode. Eventually, once they were all set, they did open the door again. And they quickly somewhat quickly got rid of this first guy and then the second guy who was more in the middle of the room they they learned that the best way to attack the the flame skull was a, a more of a frontal approach actually started with Varinka or or her double and then eventually Ola came in and polished it off all right so they they took care of the flame skulls and then uh, the rest of the party was able to move in and as, as the rest of the party moved in they started to uh uncover the dark secrets the dark gifts vilnius was not so thrilled about that as no it's got to be mine and he rushes in but but before he could get in uh, i believe a strider had already uh the east sarcophagus the east sarcophagus was uh, the ability to raise dead and uh, but the the gift was received you would get a sickly yellow eyes would grow sickly yellow until the Dark gift vanishes, uh, and, and you also get the flaw. If I help someone, I expect payment in return. They were tempted by that until until I remembered it. It says dark gift allows us better to cast this dead, but I I told them it still requires the components. One of which is that that 
diamond worth 500. So I wonder how many people really take that once they realize 500 gold piece diamond is, is needed to do it. From there though, from there, um, we did have, Vilnius did do the, what is this, the West uh, sarcophagus. And in there we had, we had the Fakre, Fakre, the Queen of Puxes appeared and they had their little interchange and Vilnius says, cure me of this. And, and she's like, yes, I will release you from your pain and properly kills him and then she offers her gift to the rest of the crew her gift of contagion contagion the ability to cause disease and, and but after three times dark gift vanishes and the cost is person would get filthy would dark gift reeks of filth and people wouldn't want to be around you and then they all said oh, they weren't tempted by that at all but this last one, uh, the, the dark gift of Zrin Hala, the Howling Storm, was the, the beneficiary would get the lightning bolt spell, but then uh, their face would sag and lose all feeling. So they, none of them wanted that. None of them wanted that, and they ended up taking a bit of a rest. I don't know that they took a full short rest, but they did got some healing in, and they decided to go push forward to the next room and they opened this door believed that there was nothing no more bad guys in it they went in there and they uncovered those those gods and if we just go through that malt of vault of mavris and how did they get in there first of all they had arcane lock and that's when they we we started to really talk about uh arcane lock and how there was uh runes above runes above the doorway and to get in, you'd have to know the, the secret word, the secret uh, magic word to get in. And they don't really know that. So Ruckus did his uh, knock spell again to l get them in, in which point they went in. They looked, took a look at all the dark gifts. And now in this room, they had uh, the gift of Sabnock, the inscrutable, which gave them the mind blank spell, which means they couldn't uh, extend duration for a year. And, but your eyes melt away upon the, receiving this dark gift, leaving empty stockets that can still see, right? And, and we went into the mind blank is you're immune to psychic damage and effect that would sense its emotions or read thoughts, divination spells or charm condition. So very powerful there. Even the wish spells or spells affect similar power. Affect so target's mind or gain information about the target are all ineffective as long as uh, with the acceptance of this gift, with the cost being that uh, the empty eye sockets that can still see. The East Sarcophagus had Tarchimedes, the Grave Worm, which uh, gave them the beneficiary would sprout skeletal wings and gains flying speed of 50. Uh, the beneficiary, but the, the beneficiary had to eat bones or grave dirt to survive. It must eat it every day or after 24 hours, the person would die. Uh, the South Sarcophagus then had the ability of suggestion, and Ruckus in particular was pretty tempted by this one. Sh uh, Shemai More, the Lady of Delights gift, allows the ability to cast suggestion spell as an action, and saving throws would have disadvantage. And after it's been used three times, the Darkfish gift get vanishes. Uh, but And with the, the beneficiary would then grow an extra finger and would have the flaw of, I can't get enough pleasure. I, des I desire others to create beauty for me at all times. And so they, they, he was very tempted about that. Some of the other ones were also tempted by, by the other powers as well. Ray's Dead One in particular was tempting until they realized the cost. From there, uh, they, they went to the, out and checked the next room, and they were really wanting to take a short rest until it was pointed out that this next room didn't have any runes on it. And so they just simply opened it, that there was some glyphs on the wall, and Varinka decided to go in and check those out, as did, who went with her? Was it uh, Olak, I believe? It, must be, it was Ruckus went in with her. While the rest of them, and so Vrinka was taking uh, 10 minutes to cast Detect Magic as a, a ritual spell. The rest of them went up to this next door, which also didn't have the runes on it, wasn't locked. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot to mention. Did I mention Vilnius? Vilnius uh, bought it, right? The Fekere, the the Dark God, Hoxes, uh was done dealing with Vilnius and killed him on the spot. And now we're back to this as the crew. We have Varinka and Ruckus checking out this old bedroom, and the rest of them go up to this other room. I believe Gloin kind of was in the middle. Strider moved up, and they entered this this room. There was a shield garden, an inactive shield guardian. As they talk about that, they identify that, and they notice the symbol, the, the V-shaped symbol on the indented in the chest of the of the shield garden, uh, and Olak with his with his tinkering ability uh recognizes the creature and that it would have some sort of gem of, that would power it control it and gloin with his 19 passive perception remembered that that actually vilnius had such a, a gem on a chain around his neck but since then that door had long since been uh, sealed again as the arcane had been 10 minutes and the arcane lock had reset itself. Hearing that, hearing that that door was locked, the, I, I had the, the mice returned and snuck into uh, Rux's clothing while they were taking a rest all the way back, all the way back while they were still in that first room. The mice had snuck back in and were saying, is it safe to come out? Is it safe to come out? And, and Ruckus says, no, 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 not yet, not yet. And so they were, the, the three mice were kind of having fun inside of Ruckus's clothing. And, and at some point it was mentioned that, hey, that first room, had the arcane lock had reset, but uh, the second room had not. And so the mice decided, hey, it's time, it's time to go and try to get in that room. And so while everyone was checking out the shield garden and Brinka was in in her uh, concentrating on her ritual spell, the mice came out and were starting to make a move for uh, the room. And uh, Ruckus, uh, they didn't quite like that idea, the gang, and so Ruckus tried to chase them down, as did eventually, as did Gloin joined in, and they tried to hit it. They missed, they cast a couple things and missed kind of horribly, Eventually, they hit one, and, and I believe uh, I don't remember, one of them appeared, and but the other, th the the rest of the mice kept screen, screen down. And this is where things got a little confusing because I didn't ask for initiative; I just went in player order. But uh, they they ran through through here, and they through the series of turns, we had they kept trying to hit the mice, and they the, the mice were. A little too fast, a little too small for him, and they ultimately got to the door, and like this, where Ruckus and Gloin were kept trying to hit it. Eventually, they did hit another mouse, which had to revert back into a shape again. But they they got in here, they got in here, and how did it go here? Ruckus went in, and they closed the door behind him. Eventually, the the third, which the third, let's see, I'm calling him which. The third lady, wizard, could have been, came in here and uh, eventually they all disappeared as they had taken some damage. Oh, that's what it was. They had taken some damage and, and so they all cast invisibility on themselves and they stood very still, stood very still until, and, and when, by the time th they both came in looking and there was no one there and even with their high perception, they couldn't really detect these girls who had who had turned themselves invisible. But eventually I did, I deleted out, I did have, right in the middle of the room, a shrieking plant came in. And that shrieking plant caused them uh, audio distress and they needed to make a saving throw else they'd run away. But in either case, they were uh, incapacitated to the sense that they'd have disadvantage on all attacks. And, uh, Ruckus passed his test, but Gloin failed. So on his turn, he had to run away. And as he ran away, and Ruckus is holding his ears, trying to figure out what's going on. And he moves forward, touches the amber sarcophagus to the south as, as he releases the god and accepts the suggestions spell. 
And uh, that's about when the other three girls appeared also, and they had also already had taken uh, that dark gift, and so they had the power of suggestion, and they suggested, Ruckus, why don't you join us? Don't you want more power? Let's, let's accept this other gift. And he failed his, his uh, saving throw, and he goes in, and, he ex and he's compelled to accept that gift. And so the two witches and he all have the skeletal wings now sprout as they also have the power of suggestion. As Ruckus has just accepted the gift of both the suggestion and and was compelled by the other three ladies to accept the gift of flight. Uh, after the after he accepts that gift, it was his turn and he pushes his way through, finally gets out. Oh, no pushes his way through and Gloin pushes the door open, pushes her away and runs in, grabs Ruckus and runs back out. But that's, it's too late that he has already accepted that dark gift. The door is closed and Strider starts to walk away, pulling Ruckus with his, his new bone wings and extra fingers and all. And but before Gloin goes, he pushes the door opens and does Radiance of Dawn and does some damage to them, taking down one of the witches again, witches, one of the ladies again, as before they storm off. And as and that's we're about ready to be done. Uh, the rest of the group uh, convenes and they they compare notes. And uh, Varinka even stops doing what she was going to do, and it's time for them. Um, they're going to retire all in this this room with the shield guardian. Vrinka and Gloin say, no, we got one last thing to do. As they come down to that room again, Vr Gloin's in the back. Vrinka opens the door and Gloin lets loose a fireball in that room. They open the door and they see they see one of the witches dying in the arms of the other two. They, they, the witches look up with puppy dog eyes saying, help us. But with the cold eyes, Vrika shakes her head and Gloin launches a fireball in the room, uh, seemingly, well, not seemingly, very uh, visually, uh, descriptively toasting the, the three ladies, uh, melting every, you know, all, away all of their clothes. And, and, uh, and the only thing left, as I describe, is their magic hat lays on the floor, which uh, they grab. Uh, Vrinka runs in and grabs, I believe. So they have the hat, uh, and that's kind of where we ended the night uh, with the, the party in the room with the shield guardian, contemplating what their next move will be, defeated the witches, they have the hat, and that's where we end. I, so, so the other thing to say is we did the math, and we decided it's about 2 p.m. at this point, as some, some were voting to have a long rest, but we kind of just said, you know what, our day's only half done and really not having any time to do the, the long rest as they contemplate what their next move will be, uh, how they're going to move. The, the warnings of people are remembering that the, they got hit by lightning bolts as they went through the, the auditorium in front of that statue as, as they contemplate what their next, their next move is. And that's where they'll pick up the next week. So I hope you enjoyed this recap. And we'll find out next week on what happens uh, when after they... They, they compare their notes and they uh, decide to move forward. What will they do? Will they take a short rest? Will they try to cross that auditorium? Well, will they try to get back in with Vilnius and, and see if they can get that shield guardian am amulet? So uh, tune in next week. We'll figure out what happens.